Hello, my name is M. V. Rao. Welcome to my channel. I present here a video showing swelling ability of a natural forest produce, gum karaya. I had an opportunity to work on this product right from forest level to the end user level and I am happy to share with you some of my studies and experiences. Please watch the video and subscribe. Thank you. The picture on the top shows a mature gum karaya tree, the botanical name being Sterculia urens. The tree grows on rocky hills and attains a height of about 30 feet or more. The gum comes as an exudate from the bark on injury or by way of incision. Commercially, the gum is marketed in bulk in three grades based on the appearance and the bark content. Well, I shall discuss in detail more about the tree, the grades, etc. in my forthcoming videos. For the present, we shall concentrate on a good quality gum karaya of grade 1 in this video. Let us see this wonderful product. In this video, we shall see a wonderful feature of gum karaya. The raw lumps are broken into small pieces. As we see, some are white and some are tan in color, no matter. The broken pieces are then crushed and sieved through a mesh for uniformity. Two grams of this crushed gum is accurately weighed. 500 ml of distilled water is taken into a measuring cylinder. Remember, it's distilled water. Now these two grams of granules are carefully transferred into the cylinder containing 500 ml of distilled water. After transfer, the water is gently stirred with a glass rod. This is to ensure that any particles floating on the surface settle down. Now the magic begins. In less than half an hour, the gum swells to about 250 ml. Leave it aside for about 4 hours. Wow! The swelling reached 500 ml, filling the cylinder. We can see the particles have absorbed water and solen and became larger while the gum is still non-sticky. See, when I pour into the beaker, the gum is coming as masses and lumps, but not as a sticky solution. Interesting. Another experiment is conducted in a 1000 ml cylinder. Now the gum is swollen up to 680 ml. Remember, this is just 2 grams, less than a teaspoonful, swelling to more than half a liter. This is the speciality of this 100% natural product. This property of gum karaya is used in producing pharmaceutical preparations which are appetite suppressants when taken before a meal and as bulk laxatives after a meal. This property of swelling is used in making ice creams to increase their volume. The swelling ability of gum karaya is tested in industry by adding 2 grams of granules 
to 500 ml of water and checking after 18 hours. I have seen in my experience gum karaya with 1000 ml of swelling too. The swelling ability of the gum decreases with the age of the gum and these aspects shall be discussed in one of my forthcoming videos. I hope you like the video. I gave reference of uh, one of my publications on this subject which may be of interest to you on the top of the slide. Thank you for watching the video and please subscribe.